what's going on YouTube welcome back uh, it's been a minute you know not too long but not too early I guess you could say I got a great gameplay for you guys today on the 250,000 ultimate Thanksgiving I don't know if that's what it's even called I, just the Thanksgiving tournament that's coming up um, I played Dez a lot of you guys may know him by now he's a he's a young guy that you know was kind of on the scene last year uh, I don't think he was old enough to compete, but, you know, he still played in those money games and those, you know, tournaments and all that type of stuff. And, you know, this year he's definitely trying to make a name of himself. But, yeah, we matched up with him. Uh, he runs Seattle Bunch, and this gameplay I was running Seattle. It's just a high-level matchup of two guys running Bunch, running Seattle. Just enjoy this video, and it does come down to the last play. Um, no one's seen the clip yet, but, man, you're going to want to see it, man. Someone's going to get cheated really, really bad. And I guess this is what you want to see. I may or may not have another video coming out um, soon. In that video, I'll be playing uh, another guy on the 250k ladders. But I, I might have to save that. I might match up with him on the ladders. Or excuse me, uh, in the tournament. The tournament is going to be settled. And the bracket will be coming out very soon. So, um, you know, it's double limb. I believe, uh, you know, seven or five games. Depending on if you got a buy or not. I unfortunately did not get a buy. But, you know. It's not really going to matter because odds are me playing someone, you know, good in the first two rounds are pretty low, but you never know. Um, I'm definitely going to get in the lab and, you know, I'm glad to be doing this video because I really do want to watch over some of my mistakes, um, see if, how I could get better on both sides of the ball because, you know, uh, I feel like watching my gameplays back will always make me better and that's something I really haven't been doing. So enough talking, let's get into the gameplay, man. This is a really good one. Hopefully you guys wait and watch till the end because it's actually just insane what happens at the end. So I highly recommend you just stick in tune. So here we go, guys. He's going to be rocking that 245 odds still. I know a lot of guys have switched to Seattle. Excuse me, dollar. Uh, Seattle's the offense I'm in. But uh, yeah, a lot of people have been switching, you know, odd, dollar, um, you know, there's a lot of differences right now in the, you know, both sides of the ball. What playbooks you run for bunch, you know, some people run uh, offset still. Some people like me, I've been running Seattle. I enjoy Seattle, but uh, there are times where I get too bomb happy, I guess you could say, is right here. We do look for a bomb and, you know, we had a couple things open, but I was primarily just looking for that fade. Something I got to, you know, get out of the habit of doing because, you know, sometimes you can't throw that fade versus cover two, but odds are, you know, you're not going to have that, you know, uh, often and you know I was just trying to go for the bomb a lot uh, during these ladders and just you know uh, not really going by to my uh, you know dink and dunk scheme as right here I want to say I had R1 up the seam but you know it's a good throwaway I have Dan Marino his windup is insane you know he's a really good quarterback uh, his abilities are like unmatched but uh, I've been having trouble with my QBs you know I want to go deep a lot and sometimes Dan Marino just doesn't let you is right here we audible to this trips tight end offset and i don't know what i was trying to do uh i was definitely trying to throw the post i believe that was wide open but you never know he had some good zone drops right there and yeah man i really do think that was a dot but i like kind of second guess myself end up throwing the ball away um but you know fourth and ten early just not a scenario you want to be on and he brings his safeties down and he plays great defense i had nothing there and just not a good drive man set up by uh me trying to go deep uh you know back to back plays thus resulting in you know me unfortunately getting stopped on fourth down all right guys you see me and dollar uh this is also something i've been going back and forth with is the defenses i've been running it's right here he's gonna go to bunch tight end first play and i don't know what ability that is but take a guess or i mean take note of that ability uh where it lights up where it cuts all that stuff i want to say that's deep out um for future references because man it's gonna come back uh, later on in this gameplay it's right here he's gonna send five and you know we make a good you know blitz uh, we have a good user right there ends up getting like what four yards I'll take it man honestly if you could hold your opponent even to three in the red zone it's a huge dub um, sometimes you feel demoralized and I'm by sometimes I mean a lot of the times when you can't get a stop you can't screen whatever it may be that uh you know sometimes they just end up getting seven but, you know, you got to keep your composure because, you know, if you get a goal line stuff, goal line stand, some years it was looked down upon because, you know, there's some sometimes like a little stigma like, oh, you got you, go, you can only stop me in the goal line. You can only stop me in the red zone at this time of year uh, in this game. I'll be gladly happy to say, you know, oh, I could only stop you in the red zone because at least I'm getting a stop. So I don't know if you guys know what I'm trying to say, but uh, that's how I definitely have felt in past years. 
But definitely, you know, if I could find something glitchy in the goal line D, uh, the red zone D, I will, you know, continue to run that. And you never know. As right here, we get a nice speed burst with Diablo and stop Derrick Henry in the backfield. And there it is, fourth down and three. But he is going to go for it. And he's in this wing tight. Um, I'm in 3-3-5 three, three, wide, you know, always solid run D, always reliable. It's right here, man. He kind of like just snapped through it, predetermined, I'd definitely say. Um, and if you want to watch that back, my guy Jesse Bates, or whoever my safety on the right is, kind of bumps into his like, I don't know what route it was, it in route or post, whatever it was. He bumps into his tight end. And, you know, I don't think he would have got there, but my hooks were on five, man. And he ends up getting the first down on a crucial fourth and three. And right here, he's going to go to Derrick Henry and end up scoring. Um, can't even hate. You know, he had one play, really, I'd say, a deep pass to TJ. Kind of caught me off guard. He did play good defense on the last drive. Um, definitely in a bad spot, especially in this year's Madden. He gets ball out, but it's not. It's nothing to worry about because um, I definitely are going to start turning up here on offense in a second. And right here, I was watching a clip, so we're going to get the ball at the 11. You know how sometimes the fullback doesn't want to return it? Well, that's what happened. It's right here. Just a simple, nice dink and dunk to Patterson. I was definitely looking deep, but, you know, I don't trust these deep pass. That's something I'm going to start, start having to test a lot because oftentimes I would, you know, the, the pass would be seems open or, you know, maybe I could throw it, but it's just not there. It's right here. Uh, Will Fuller gets the ball on a simple drag, gets me 20 yards. But yeah, man, I got to see about like how these deep halves are because oftentimes when I play, you know, I'm getting my deep halves bombed on the verticals uh, wheel route or the streak. And, you know, right there, I ran verticals on that first play and I had neither. It's right here. Just a late read. You know, it was it was just a late read. I could have definitely got way more yards. You know, I'll gladly take my three, but that was definitely a sloppy late read. Uh, just threw it right as he got to that defender. Could have definitely thrown it earlier. And maybe I should have motioned him out to give him more space. It's right here. We're going to run the same play again, and we are going to have a nice dot to Jerry Rice. Crosser with a uh, clear out fade. The fade is going to, you know, literally take any type of back deep zone away, and that crosser is always going to get over those 30s. Um, just a nice play. You know, it, it, it got a little difficult because I have Dan Marino, and like I said, his wind up on the deep ball is super, super tough. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It's right here. We're eyeing down the tight end. Sorry for the skip frames. But we hit that tight end post out of that trips tight end offset to Jared Cook. That's why I love Dan Marino. Hot route master, conductor, just super fast. Um, when I audible over to a different form, it makes the opponent super uncomfortable. It's right there. That that hook, it kind of matched on, but it had no chance at actually guarding or defending the tight end post. It's right here, guys. He's going to audible the bunch tight end again. And, you know, we play good defense. And boom, we absolutely hit stick him with Charles Woodson. Um, that is not mid-zone KO anymore. I don't know if you guys noticed or could tell. They definitely patched mid-zone KO. Pour one up for mid-zone KO because, man, I was starting to love that ability. Uh, clicking on, diving at people's feet, hit sticking them, whatever it may be. It's right here. Just a bad sloppy user. We ran cover four, so the post wasn't, it just wasn't going to be as open as, you know, versus cover two look. Definitely could have just speed bursted to that wheel route and guard it. But like I was saying, mid zone KO, they definitely patched it. It doesn't work in the flats anymore. Um, so that is flat zone KO. It's right here. Another sloppy user. I mean, I'm not going to be too mad at that one compared to the one prior. Um, I am a little mad because I got absolute crazy pressure right there. I think three people came in free, as you see right here. Three people came in free. And, you know, all I had to do was guard the running back. A word to the wise is, you know, if you're playing a guy who's spamming those running back routes, outs, ins, uh, you know wheels just guard the running back man if you someone is just continuing to eye the running back down over and over again it's going to be tough um, when you take away that running back and send the five man heat if you guard a man they're bound to make a mistake because just some of the other routes take a long time to develop and you know if you are sending heat um, you're more than likely playing in, uh, like a risky shell like a cover two hard flats type of look it's right here he's going to throw this deep bomb and score a touchdown i played quarters uh, I, I had a cover four on the, the left side, and I thought for sure that was going to play it, but I guess not. I don't know if it's Sean Taylor's fault, but he ends up getting a seven on that bunch trail laser. Um, like I said, though, you know, the adjustments to stop that usually do work. I don't know, like, what happened right there, but like I said, maybe it was a short side or whatever it may be. Uh, usually they sometimes stop it, um, but trust me, next time I see that, I'll definitely have another adjustment for it.
But that's what Seattle gives you, man. Even if you use Josh Allen, you don't need to use that hot route master. You get that bunch trail. It's right here. We're trying to look for that deep pass, and we're going to get it, man. Uh, I don't know if that was open or not. Like I said, that usually beats cover two. But Sean Taylor was kind of like on it. We get it, like, I guess, gifted under pressure towards the sideline. You know, I feel like you should be able to pass lead that to the sideline every single time. Gunslinger, set, pass lead elite, whatever it may be. I want to pass lead that to the sideline. The pass leads in this game are kind of ass, you know, but it's not too big of a deal because of, uh, you know, how how bad zones are, how bad defense is in general. It's right there, Miles Garrett. Uh, if you don't know Dez, he always rocks Miles Garrett at DT. And his Miles Garrett goes to work, man. Uh, I believe that's like a 1 million coin card. It's right here. Nice little low balls against the man to man coverage. And something I already noticed, and I already knew this a while back, is I don't attack the flats enough. Right there, he manned up my tight end. Um, that's just something you can't do when you run flood, et cetera, et cetera. It's right here. We're going to try to get this first by running the ball. He's definitely not going to look to stop the run. And we end up getting our three easy yards. Take it to the two-minute warning. And honestly, I'm just trying to clock this game down to where, you know, it's a tie game at half. He does get ball at half, so it might get tricky. But, you know, if we, like I said, if we get it to a tie game at half, I don't have to worry about anything at all. Uh, we definitely want to score right here, man, because it is going to get a little tough if we don't. Um, you know, red zone is the dead zone, they always say. It's right here. Easy low ball. Not so easy low ball. I don't know how Ed Reed played that in man-to-man -man coverage. I think I got bumped. Uh, I'll definitely take the fluke. Um, I may have had something else open, but his user, and there were a couple zones there. I mean, that was the only read. I definitely shouldn't have low ball. I think low balling it made it more of a scary throw slash read. See, right here, guys, I definitely could have thrown this right here. Got some easy yards, but this is a, just a route I never had been, you know, running. His user is nowhere near there. He doesn't have Acro on his user as well, and his user is occupied by the middle field. I could have definitely thrown this, racked it up, and got some yards. Um, but, you know, his user, the users are so fast now that, like, I don't know. Here we go, guys. Uh, you know, definitely don't want him to get any points before half. It's right here. We almost speed burst to the wheel route. But, you know, he, due to him being on the middle of the field, I think it helped him out. He had just more space to throw it. And right here, man, we're in the dollar. We're trying to send the heat. Cover four on the right side. Cover two on the left. And we play good defense, but it's not good enough. Uh, that beats the quarter every single time. I definitely should have had a 30 or something out there. Um, but he no huddled me. So, you know, I definitely could, should have called the timeout. There's a lot of things I could have done. But in the, at, at the end of the day, you know, this isn't the tournament game. This was an important ladder game, but you live and you learn. It's right here. He's going to hit this delay fade. And don't question what my user was doing because the verticals route was wide open on the broken plate. And he also had a delay fade. So, you know, I had to pick and choose just a bad coverage shell, bad user, bad defense. Um, didn't man up the tight end it's right here. That's what we're gonna do this play and you know what four yard game We will take that At This point man. I'm just trying to get like, you know, just trying to prevent the touchdown um, You know, I'll live with three uh, We play decent defense, but you know, we couldn't get off get a We couldn't get a shed. We couldn't get a pressure scream. That's sometimes what I don't like about dollar But we're in cover four right here, man, and he's trying to go deep There's no space to do so and he throws a book to Charles Woodson. Thankfully, we catch it. And just like that, we're going to go into half with a tie game. Uh, just a bad mistake by Dez. Basically, even in, out the game, 14 all at half. It's right here, man. Once more, uh, something I noticed about Dez, every first down out of the drive, he likes to go to inside zone or bunch tight end, whatever it may be. And we get a speed burst of hell right there. Shoot the gap. You know, he still gets a yard, but it definitely looked like he could have got more yards. Um, but here we had to definitely try to get a stop and lock up. We're in the cover three cloud on the left side. Um, basically, that's just a good defense to run. That's a good defense to run, you know, uh, if you're like thinking, you know, verticals might be coming or some type of play over there. In reality, I actually wanted my cover three cloud zone on the butt side. But, you know, with auto flip and you never know what type of guy, uh, what type of, you know, side the guys are going to come out on, whether it be right side bunch, left side bunch. Or even audible the bunch tight end. So it gets tricky sometimes, you know. As right here, he has the two clock on. He's going to bunch tight end again. And we can't get a flat zone KO right there. But, you know, it's all good. He only gets nine yards on it. Sometimes when they audible the bunch tight end, I'm kind of scrambling and, you know, thinking what to do. Reality, you should probably run max coverage. Bunch tight end is good. 
but it's not that good as it la as it was last year in my opinion um the pa crossers play the pa whatever uh boot over it's actually just not as good and it's pretty surprising the zone drop plays them pretty well and you know the deep halves kind of carry nice to the sideline and you know you get some nice sheds sometimes it honestly depends on your qb like if i was to run pa uh, boot over with dan marino i already know i'm not going to have that much success with it compared to someone like josh allen he's right here he's going to go to the bunch tight end again and you know you, i already know you could definitely throw the crosser but it just gets tough sometimes it's right here we run a little bit of match and this was a very good defense i called one out of the you know many times many offensive plays des had i actually played good defense it's right here short side bunch um you know sometimes you just gotta wait and see are they gonna flip are they not it looks like he's not gonna flip right here uh and you know we're just trying to send that four man pressure off the left side he actually does come in but i don't know what happens and he's gonna throw right at our user man's had a whole wheel route wide open um you know no pressure came in as well he definitely could have just did something else thrown the ball away but i think i played really good defense besides the wheel route being open i think i want to say i manned up the tight end too i was definitely expecting some type of you know crosser wheel route delay fade play um but it's all good you know next play third down and 10 uh he's gonna call verticals again and we play amazing defense again and you know we get a shed um, he throws a ball at the dirt and here we go, man. Fourth down and 10. The game, the whole game could change right here. You know, so far this whole game, we've been playing from behind, whether it be a possession behind, a score behind, stop behind. This is where we could, you know, say it's all good. Get the, get our stop right back. And honestly, man, people have difficulties. Once they pass that 50 yard line, you know, things start to change on defense a little bit, slightly. And I know I could say, uh, I'm one of them He's right here. We're going to try to blitz. Uh, cover four on the left side to pr protect you know any corner routes or make it at least a tough throw we have a hooker on the right to guard the wheel route and bruh are we gonna get there no we're not it was just such a questionable play call and it was actually really good defense that i'm just kind of confused i'm gonna rewind it so right here man you know if you throw a flat right here you got it bro you definitely got it fourth and ten i know you know no one's really throwing a flat I definitely could have done something way better with Sean Taylor, and this guy is gone. You know, I love Sean Taylor. He might go my, to my user, but I really need Ronnie Lott in this position. Sean Taylor had been selling so much the past weekend, whether it be weekend league, ladders. He just wasn't making plays. You know, I'm not expecting him to make a play. At this point, man, I need the pressure to come in, and it did. Actually, it really didn't, man. I'm watching it back right now. I don't know if it was my user's fault, not engaging or hovering with the guard. Or this contain or whatever maybe this like i said it's something with dollar it's right here we try to speed burst back and i thought we we're gonna get it but we just kind of slowed down i really didn't think a streak was gonna be on there it's just a questionable play call play design maybe he was trying to throw the streak up the zone kind of like a um you know just like the streak specialist in madden 20 but uh we're gonna watch it one more time he kind of gets bumped and it just really wasn't as open as it could have been but it is what it is good play good dot it's right here man uh easy out route right there for nine and that's another thing the short side out routes are kind of been you know sometimes you get yards sometimes you don't so i gotta f figure out if i want to do a zig route or whatever it may be but we're gonna audible once more to the trip side and offset and we're gonna try to roll out but we don't have to easy reads to jerry rice that's that's just the dilemma with trips man you take so much uh emphasis on the crosser or you know like a post that you know it's just an easy read right there to jerry rice on an end route so you know after that pitiful and i'm talking about pitiful first drive you know we've been bouncing back we've been audibling around doing what we had to do and easy not so easy not so easy reads right there um we kind of undercut it and you know we just had to make them choose a high low read so we end up going no huddle going to this pa crossers play and i i'm seeing i got will fuller the deep wind up doesn't matter because that's a damn dot by dan marino will fuller the the fifth i think v is the fifth and it's a tie ball game man we got life i'm not gonna lie um like the first half i definitely couldn't buy a stop but you know slowly but surely i've been able to adjust and i'm kind of catching on it's right here he's gonna throw that and once more sean taylor and he gets his feet in bounds i was shocked that he got his feet in bounds right there we played 30s um manned up some guys and the thing was he was able to escape the pocket um if you want to watch that back charles woodson literally bumped the wheel route at the end 
and I'm like, yeah, there's no way he's going to be able to throw it, but he was still able to. So, you know, even though it was a 30, 40 yard gain, even though Sean Taylor was, you know, he just got to get there, man. Um, I'll take the, the result of it because, you know, it, it's getting a little more difficult for him on offense. We've been kind of slowing him down. We got him to a fourth down right here. Uh, you know, it's going to be have to come down to another goal line stop. But uh, for the most part, you know, I'll take it. I'm new to dollar at this time of moment. Um, so, you know, I can't be too mad about it. It's right here, man. At this point, my main priority is trying to stop the run. And, you know, like I said, new to dollar, don't know the gap shoots, no, don't know where to hover and all that type of stuff. So um, I'm going to end up hopping in, hopping in wide right here because I know, you know, if I could get a goal line stop, I can make it last possession if he gets held to three. And ultimately, you never know, uh, win the game. But right here, you know, he gets a nice, easy flat route. I have baseline on. My slot corner was all the way on the wrong side. It just wasn't ideal. And right here, once more, he's going to hit this flat route. Even on a flat zone KO, I believe I had fives right there. Um, let's see. I had fives, and I guess that doesn't matter, man. I should have had a zero out there. Good read and good dot by Dez. And here we go, man. He's in goal line. I feel like I have decent goal line. He is right here. We're going to blow it up first play. I need a hit stick right there because odds are sometimes the dudes go on aggressive. And Diablo is a big hitter, man. I need to learn like to get that hit stick because sometimes I'm just not you know getting those hit stick animations right there but you know i'll take it third and goal right here man from first and goal to second goal and there i man up jeremy chin to his like wheel route running back route whatever it was i took a note a mental note of it earlier in the game i'm like you know what he's probably just gonna snap throw it predetermined throw it and he did and i manned him up and it felt good to get that adjustment off on for uh like uh he ends up only kicking three questionable you know you could go for it right there um, but you could also kick three and try to play D. It's just a questionable spot. Let me know what you guys would do down below. I probably would have kicked three as well. Um, just on the sole fact that I won't be able to get clocked and, you know, lose by three. It's one thing to give up seven and lose. It's another thing to, you know, if you're only up one, two, or even in a tie game to, you know, lose by a field goal. That's definitely the worst thing ever because, you know, you're cheating yourself out of 30 yards. Um, you know, sometimes if they need a touchdown, they need to go extra 30 yards. And that's where you could definitely get a stop. You see me right here. I'm definitely going to play this slow, run the ball quite a bit. You're going to have to show me you can stop the run. I'm trying to take this whole game down, clock this game out. So right here, we're doing some fake hot routes. Once more, easy run. I could have probably fell down right there. But in reality, let's get some yards, man. We don't need uh, the time isn't really a big issue. We could continue to chew clock even if we're at the 50. And, you know, it's just pretty tough to shoot gaps and stop the run out of uh, odd. He he audibles to wide and, you know, even wide, it's not it's not the greatest at, you know, stopping the run right there. It does. But I'm more comfortable versus wide. I could, you know, dial up some easy dots out of this trip set or even audible the bunch. It's right here. He's going to go to wide again. And I don't audible, but I am instead going to run a play out of here. This trips play. Um, that's what hot rub master gives you is right here. I have the right side wide open felt like it could have been more yards But it is what it is that could have, that could have definitely been like a 20 30 flat that played that um, So I maybe should have waited like an extra second to let it go to the sideline um, But it's all good man third and four. This is easy conversions It's right here. Uh, I take it a minute dialing up my play. He actually plays really good defense Except for that guy that was the one guy that was actually open and he had to guard between the tight end and the corner route i don't know if he sent pressure or not but it definitely didn't look like it I had a clean pocket with easy reads he's right here he's gonna try to shoot the gap and he's not able to and this is where maybe i made a mistake i probably should have fell down on second and inches but then again it's all hindsight man um you know if you get the to the one yard line you take it you know you score when you have to because Oftentimes, it's not guaranteed, and I've lost many of games, uh, whether it be last year in regs, whether it be this year, where, you know, I try to clock, and I just do some boneheaded thing and end up losing because I don't trust the defense, and it is what it is, but, you know, we at this point, we definitely want to get the seven, whether it be this play, the next play, we want the seven uh, ASAP, and we end up getting it with Cordell Patterson, so he has 32 seconds, one timeout, and he needs seven. This is, you know, this is a test even in this game, man. And it's all, you know, just depends on how the defense is going to play. Whether I get that one shed, whether I don't, whether I get that one incompletion or not. 
Let's see how this game turns out. Right here, cover four. Sending the left side heat. Want to contain him in the pocket. We have a 30, I want to say, on the right or 20. And nothing open except that guy. You know, we'll take it. I really thought he was going to run out of bounds. So I took a step to the left. Big mistake. He ends up getting 15 to 20 more yards in comparison to what he would have had. But, you know, I'm not mad at it because he has to waste a timeout now. Um, right here, we were once more in cover four. I just don't want to get bombed. I know you could get bombed out of this uh, in bunch tight end. So I'm going to run directly back. And, you know, that wasn't the move because, boom, another easy dot. So definitely got to work on my uh, two-minute warning, you know, two-minute drill situation defense because, sheesh, that was the worst defense you could imagine the first two downs. Probably should be in man with some 20s and 30s out there because man is definitely difficult to beat. But it is what it is. Um, you know, the game isn't over yet. It's right here. We sent the pressure. No one's there. There's a 30 right there. And we're going to get this stop, right? And that's it, man. I'm going to close app and get out of here. Um, you know, that's a dot, I guess you could say. But, hey, you know, I'm not mad at him. What, could, what else could he have thrown? He has deep out for a reason. I told you guys to remember that. And all I got to say is GG's, man. Sean Taylor is definitely off the free safety spot, strong safety spot, because he just sold complete ass. My 30 was there, but I don't even know. I guess deep out just does what it does. Um, watching it back like a second, third time a day or two later, it wasn't as bad. It definitely was cr like, oh my God, that was a crazy cheat, especially with how much time was left and all that type of stuff. But where's my contain? Where's my pressure? I need these answers. And I learned a lot from that game. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, GG's once more to Dez. I don't know if he got top eight. I don't think he did. Um, like I said, I'm 20 right now, but it doesn't really matter. There's only two games, or maybe it might be three, but nonetheless, you know we're going to fight. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this gameplay. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till next time, guys. Be safe. Be easy. Be love.